Welcome back guys, we're about to start uh, surviving, surviving Mars, next tutorial is multiple thorns. <laughs> Welcome back Commander. In this tutorial, you will manage a larger colony that consists of multiple domes. As you expand your base and try to obtain various resources scattered across the map, you will in inevitably end up with a colony that consists of several domes. This tutorial will introduce you to a lot of the typical situations that you can expect to come up in a big colony. Holy! Shuttles can transport resources and colonists across great distances. Okay, so the complex technology needed for shuttles flying in the thin Martian atmosphere typically must be researched. For the purposes of this tutorial, however, it has been already granted to you. So construct a shuttle. Okay, interesting. I have to go to one more place to get that. Whatever. Holy, my mouse been acting up. Oh, let's fast forward this quick. I need to build one more over here, don't know. Huh. Huh. Yeah, let's see this. Okay, now I have to connect it to the power. Now that we have operational shuttles, it's time to establish a mining dome. Colonists can work in some outside buildings based close to their dome, such as extractors for metals and rare materials. Oh, metals, sorry, my bad. Rare metals. Since colonists will be needed for the extraction of these underground deposits, it is a good practice to place domes near such deposits as is the case in this simulation. Construct a rare metals extractor next to the rare metals deposit and next to the... Oh, and connect it to the power grid. Provided a dome with living space, colonists from the, from other domes will be able to resettle in it, provided it is within walkable distance, or there are available shuttles to fly them there. So construct a living complex inside the mining dome. Okay. Uh, living comp. 
complex right Don't here. forget to provide basic services for the citizens of your new dome. So I have to provide that again. Okay. Then I have to go this one again. Lord of mercy. There. Alright, so those are being built. Do I have to call a spaceship for these people again? I think I do. Those are constructed. This needs to be constructed. After that, then we need the next. You can set up filters for every dome to attract colonists with desired traits, and block or push out colonists with undesired ones. So I have to select the dome and open the filter screen from its info panel. Okay. And filter by traits. Being near a rare metals deposit. This dome is best suited as a mining hub, so it's best to encourage geologists to migrate here. And because we want to make sure that the research dome gets all the available scientists, we will also ban scientists from inhabiting this type of red dome. So to go from the specialist category, activate the thumbs up icon for geologists and the thumbs down for the scientists. So, geologists and scientists. This dome has been designated for research purposes, so it's best to attract more colonists with the scientist specialization. And because we want to make sure that the mining dome gets all the available geologists, which are best suited for work inside the extractor buildings. We will also ban geologists from inhabiting this world. So basically I'm going to do the opposite. Colonists can migrate between domes using shuttles or walking when they are positioned close to one another. However, they cannot usually visit buildings in nearby domes on a daily basis unless they are connected to their own dome. So to demonstrate dome connections, let's first build a new dome near our research dome. Okay. They are talking like I have big money here. So it's the other one that will have the next thing right here. I wonder how much of those run. Let me see some. There's two, three. I see three so far. Uh, two. Oh, so only three is working basically. Let's see that. Construct two farms in the new dome. They will be used as workplaces for the colonists in the old dome once the domes are connected. Okay, so basically created a farm right here, just like that.
one that I said. Domes position closely to each other may be connected with passages. So passages allow colonists to travel safely to domes directly connected to their own, seeking work or services there. So I'm basically I'm gonna connect these. No. Congratulations. Oh, no, With the research complete, a new upgrade for your extractors is now available. It is not automatically activated in your buildings. You must construct it first. So now I have to construct it. Select the water extractor and then select the indicated upgrade icon. Okay. Nice work. The upgrade has been constructed. Some upgrades will consume more power or water while active. After an upgrade has been constructed, it may be turned on and off from the same button that was used for its construction. The command 
Center is a treasure trove of information about the colony. It offers historical data for various colony um, metrics, as well as overviews of domes, buildings, colonists, and transportation. Open the command center and try it out. So command center is right here. I'm pretty sure that's millions, but you know, I'm just gonna keep myself humble. Uh, research per soul, 386. Red resources, 1400. Oxygen, 200. Water, 328. I'm good on resources for now, except for metals, advanced research uh, resources. Most of these are shipped in, except a few, I think. Um, I have 34 colonists, one unemployed. I have 110 buildings in total, three drones, or oh, domes, 31 power producers, and three productions. This reminds me of this next game I like to play. Let's go. Congratulations, Commander. You have graduated from the International Mars Mission Training Simulation. The team at Mission Control is eager to meet you and serve under your command. The challenge of conquering Mars for the sake of humankind is still a tough one. But with a commander as skillful and resourceful as you, the task seems a bit easier now. The colonization of Mars awaits. Good luck, commander, and may the cosmos be with you. And I hope you guys enjoyed that episode, Surviving Mars. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.